if you open the test app, you're already going to have the H um, tags available to you by this line. So um, basically what an H output text tag is, is um, when you want to display something from the Java side output to um, the user interface on the XHTML. Um, go to file, uh, new file, you can look down to Java and hit Java class. I'm going to name it index control. I'm not going to worry about the packages for now. Um, the first thing that you want to do is put names and request scopes. Um, not to get too far into this, but this is just so that um, you can you are able to access this uh, Java class from your XHTML file um, by name. I'm going to add a private string, some text, and I'm going to add getters and setters for it. And you can do this easily by going to uh, refactor encapsulate fields and selecting the getter and the setter for this. And that's pretty much all I'm going to do right now. On the in, back on the index page, I'm going to put h output text has an attribute called value. You're going to put value equals quotations, um, hashtag, curly bracket, and then inside there, if you type in, you should get up index control, which is the Java class we just uh, made. Um, this is what I was talking about with the at named property that you can access it from your XHTML side. Once you have the index control, you can just call the getter on some text which is just going to automatically bind to it. Um, it's going to appear as some text. Um, close the quotations and that's you can close the tag after that. Um, I'm going to run the file. So what's going to happen is that you're going to see the devstack IO bare bones uh, p tag that we have up here and then on the output text it's going to go grab the value from the Java side and display hello um, on the front end. So that's pretty much in a nutshell what the output text is. Um, one attribute that I will talk about that is not only applied to this tag, but it's good to know um, is the rendered attribute. Rendered. And this is basically saying that we're going to display the output of this. Um, this entire tag is going to be displayed if this condition is met. For example, if in the index controller I added a Boolean. I'm just going to set it to default to false. Encapsulate fields, make the getters and setters. Um, so here I'm going to put that this is only going to be rendered if the index control dot sum check is true, which in our case right now it's uh, I set it to false, so this is not going to display. Um, if you go back to the web browser and refresh, you see that hello disappears. Um, if I change this back to true from the Java side and I hit save, it'll deploy. If your uh, application is not automatically being deployed, then you can go to right-click uh, right your project name, go to properties, um, run, and this deploy on save should be checked. So back here, if I hit refresh, you're going to see the hello tag come up again. That's it for the output text and rendered attribute. Um, if you want to know more operators that you can use with the rendered attribute, um, click this link.